We'll begin a discussion of one of the most common taxes, the self-employment tax. This tax applies to a wide variety of taxpayers, from those who run their own successful companies or have home-based careers like hairstyling or daycare, to people with part-time businesses. As a professional tax preparer, you will probably run into clients in this situation every tax season. And perhaps you will determine the self-employment tax on your own personal return. Most working Americans have federal withholding taken from their paychecks, which includes the employee share of the Medicare and Social Security taxes, commonly called FICA taxes. The other share of these taxes is paid directly to the IRS on the employee's behalf by their employers. Self-employed individuals do not fit this model. Usually they don't receive a paycheck, or at least a regular one. Instead, they retain a portion of their profits in the form of an owner's draw, for which the usual withholding requirements do not apply. Therefore, in order to contribute to Social Security and Medicare funds on their own behalf, self-employed taxpayers are required by law to pay self-employment tax, which puts them on even footing with other Americans. By paying self-employment tax, these individuals are actually making their own Social Security contributions. Despite the misleading title, self-employment tax is not a tax on self-employment itself, but rather on the profits that self-employed taxpayers generate. So, who pays self-employment tax? Primarily sole proprietors and general partners in partnership arrangements. However, there are others who need to pay this tax also. Any individual who runs a trade or business, such as a hobby, with a net income of $400 or more must file Schedule SE in connection with Form 1040. The IRS defines a trade or a business as any activity carried on for a livelihood or in good faith to make a profit. The taxpayer does not have to actually earn a profit as long as a motive for making a profit exists. Nor does it have to be a full-time activity to be subject to self-employment tax. If a taxpayer has more than one source of self-employment income, he can combine them onto a single Schedule SE. It is unnecessary to file a separate Schedule SE for each trade or business activity in which a taxpayer participated. Clergy must also pay self-employment taxes. Even though these workers are not self-employed, they are still required to pay self-employment tax because, by law, no Social Security taxes are withheld from their paychecks. The rate of self-employment tax that an eligible individual must pay is 15.3% of net income. This corresponds with the customary rate for Social Security and Medicare taxes, which is 7.65% of the employee's gross wages contributed by both the employee and the employer. For instance, in a normal year, if Carl had a net income through his part-time painting business of $12,000, which is subject to self-employment tax, then Carl would add $1,836 as additional taxes due on his tax return. The maximum amount of self-employment income subject to Social Security tax changes, which means it usually increases every year. There is no limit, however, on the amount of income subject to Medicare tax. For example, if you have a client with $200,000 in self-employment income, you'll apply the maximum for Social Security and multiply the entire amount times the Medicare rate.